You have just finished your science project and you want to share your information. This video gives tips on how to put together a science project display board. This video contains fast moving animations and flashes of light. Let's get started. Your display board is a snapshot of your project's main ideas. Whether you did an experiment, innovation, or study project, here are the general areas you may want to consider for your display board. How many sections you write up will depend on your grade. Don't scoot away, you just have to write a clear summary of each section. Your display is being read from a distance, so it's important that the words be larger. Before you print, consider these size guidelines. You may also want to consider easily read fonts such as Arial and Times New Roman. Try to avoid using all capitals. Apparently, they are harder to read and make you sound like you are yelling. Try bolding and underlining headings to make them stand out. Here are some tips to consider before printing each section. Proofread carefully. Grammar and spelling are looked at by judges. Proofreading saves paper and printer ink and also reduces the chances of you having to rip a section off your display board after it's already glued on. Standard white paper will work fine to print on, but if you can use a stronger, thicker, mid-weight paper, it may glue with fewer wrinkles. Also, brighter paper will contrast better with darker text, and matte paper is easier to read text from relative to shiny or glossy paper. Most students will leave a single space between lines, but there doesn't seem to be a rule against double spacing. It is recommended that you frame your printed information. Framing the text highlights your sections and makes them pop off the display board. This can be done by gluing your text sheet onto colorful cardstock or construction paper. Suggested is that you choose complementary colors and stick to just a few colors. Colored markers and a ruler can also be used to frame your work. There doesn't seem to be a fixed rule that sections must look like rectangles. However, if you add other shapes, they shouldn't distract from your work. Neatness counts, so try to cut or draw lines as straight as possible. It's best to erase pencil marks if you used pencil lines to help guide your cutting. Glue marks and wrinkles on the paper from gluing also take away from the neatness of your display board. When framing with cardstock or construction paper, glue edges down securely. Judges do not want to see displays where information is peeling off the boards. They like edges glued flat and dislike air bubbles between the text paper and the display board. The glue you choose is up to you. Glue sticks and spray glues can leave fewer wrinkles. If you are using liquid glue, try to use clear glue and use it sparingly. Liquid glues sink into paper faster and cause more wrinkles. To put your work together, you will obviously need a display board. After all, that's what this video is about, your science project display board. Trifold display boards can be purchased off the internet or at office supply and discount stores. Choose a board size that will allow you to display all of your sections without crowding the board. However, don't go too big. Most science fairs suggest that you use a display board that is not taller than 3.5 meters when on a table, not wider than 1.2 meters because you may be sharing the table space, and not deeper than 0.8 meters because you don't want a judge to have them stick their head into your display in order to read it. Double check these requirements with your science fair. Your display will need a title. Think carefully about it as the best titles are creative and tasteful and give some idea of what your project is about. The title is the beacon that attracts judges and others to your project. Judges would like to see your title from about 3 meters away. The suggested letter size is around 150 point font. Such large letters can be hand drawn or purchased from craft, discount, and even hardware stores. They can be made using letter cutters. Use your imagination and keep it tasteful. The best place for your title is at the top of the center panel or on an overhead tab. Place the overhead tab further back on the board so it doesn't cast too much of a shadow on your text. Also, a tab too close to the front will create a deeper display, forcing judges and others to stick their heads into the display to read it. You don't want that. Now for the rest of the display board. Try to arrange the sections of the information you have logically. Think about this. If you have to leave your project, could a science fair judge or someone else follow what you did in an organized manner? Here's a tip. Before you glue your sections down, lay the display board flat and arrange your sections on it. When everything is exactly where you like it, tack everything down with a small piece of tape. Stand the board up and see if you like it. 
If you do, lay it back down and glue the sections down. Let's look at some examples that show how different project types can potentially be displayed. Sections will vary by your grade. An experiment project display board. An innovation project display board. A study project display board. Notice in all the displays that the procedure and results were displayed in the middle panel. Also note that the rest of the display followed the order of the scientific method. These examples are suggestions. You choose how you would like to organize your display. Also, keep in mind that you can use the space in front of your display board for your logbook, your written report, and any approved items that you would like to display. It's a great place for a model or simulated model of your work that can help others see what you did. Items in front of your display board should not obstruct it. Be careful with what you choose to display, as you will be disqualified from the fair if you display prohibited items such as open flames, weapons, toxic and radioactive items, lasers, pathogens, and live animals. It's best to check with your science fair for a complete list of prohibited items. Also, electricity is not usually provided at science fairs, and batteries are not allowed at many science fairs unless they are 10 volts or less. To overcome this, some students use their personal tablets or cell phones to show what they did. You will be responsible for your own device. There it is, tips on how to do a display board from start to finish. One last tip before I go, give yourself enough time to put your display together. Now you're ready to create a display board for the world to see. Have fun and good luck at the science fair.